Yo, what's going on everyone? Cruz here. And guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys the easiest way that you guys can get donations inside of Please Donate. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Now, before I do get into the methods, obviously, I have to talk about the donations. Now, personally, in today's video, I'm not going to be showing you guys how you can set up those, these donations. But for all of you guys that are curious, I'd highly recommend looking up a YouTube video on how you guys can set up game passes for Please Donate. But anyways, guys, as you guys can see on screen right now, I have around 3 Robux, 5 Robux, 10 Robux, 25 Robux, and so on. Now, majority of the time, around 97% of your donations are going to be low ballers because not a lot of people like spending their Robux. But sometimes you can get people that have well over 100,000 Robux donated, and they'll probably give you around a couple thousand. So the best thing to do here, I still need to update some of mine. If me personally, again, I still need to update some of them, I would do 3 Robux, 5, 10, 15, 20, then 25, and then after 25, I'm going to start going up by 25s. So then I'm going to go up by 50, 75, 100. And then at 100, you're probably going to want to go up around 50. Now, I jumped from 250. That's why I said I need to add more, but I would go 150, 200, 250. And then around 250, you can go up to 500. And then after 500, you're going to go up by 250s for 75 or 750, 1,000, and then 10,000, and then 100,000. You could put a million at the end, but you're just not going to get a million. It's just not going to happen unless you're super popular. So this is probably the best setup that you guys can have when it comes to donations. Remember, majority of the people are going to be donating you low Robux, but you're not going to want to have it set to like one Robux because you're not going to get anything. So you're going to want to have it set to low, and then your max will probably be around 100,000 to a million Robux. Now, guys, I did forget to mention that I will have timestamps down below, so make sure you guys are using those to look for the specific category that you guys are looking for. But anyways, guys, the next thing I'm going to be talking about are going to be these voice chat servers. Now, I'm not going to be joining these servers because I am on PlayStation and no one can hear me, but this will up your chances of getting Robux, but not by a lot. Now, a lot of please donate YouTubers like to be like, oh, if you join these servers, a miracle is going to happen. If you have a reaction that's crazy, you're going to get thousands of Robux. And I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be the bringer of bear news or the bearer of bad news but it's just not going to happen if you get a five to ten robux uh dono yes that's going to mean a lot to you and yes you're probably going to be appreciative if you're like me and you're really happy with anything you get but you're not going to be freaking out you're not going to be partying or partying around your room throwing things around jumping all around just because you got 10 Robux. A lot of people can tell, at least in this day and age, a lot of people can tell when you are faking a reaction, and that's why a lot of YouTubers that fake reactions just don't get that far. Because when you fake your reaction, you're not going to get very far. So if you're going to fake your reaction for Robux, that's not going to make people want to donate to you, but if you are going to have a genuine reaction, players might realize that, might respect your honesty, and might even donate you some extra Robux. Now, the next method that we're going to be talking about, in my opinion, is personally the best method, but that is just because I am a Roblox streamer, and that is streaming. Now, the reason streaming is probably one of the best methods is because not only can people just donate to you via these gifts over here, but at the same time, people can just come up to your stand and donate to you as well. Now, personally, I don't stream to get Robux. That's why you don't really see me stream this game that often. The only reason I have 44,000 Robux is because one of my friends decided to join and he dropped, I think, around 30,000 in one day. And that's one of the, and it was, happened to be because of my reaction as well. Not only did he just enjoy my content and he was trying to be nice, but at the same time, my reaction. Because I talked to him during the stream and he said, dude, you're too kind, the reaction, whatever. It's the reaction. Now, yes, I was getting 10,000 donos, so I was flipping my crap. Like, I was freaking out because that is a lot of money to be dropping on one person, let alone 30,000 in one live stream. So if you do live stream, you most likely will get quite a bit of people in your game. Now, yes, you're going to get those people that are going to be like, can you donate to me? Can you donate to me? Can you donate to me? Now, me being donated this many Robux, yes, I like to give back to my community because I just feel like that's what I need to do because I don't feel like I deserve all these Robux. But sometimes you will get a few people that join your game that will donate you a crap ton of Robux. I've gotten $5 donos or 5 Robux donos. I've gotten 20. I've gotten... 50, I've gotten 500, I've gotten 1,000, I've gotten 10,000. I've gotten a bunch of different donations just from live streaming. Now, excuse my language here, but don't be a dick. If you are going to live stream, do not be a dick about it. 
Don't be like, oh, join my game, give me Robux, give me this, give me this. No. You should be playing this game to have fun. For example, if you go all the way over there across the water, you guys will see a soccer field. And that's what I was doing when I first played this game. As me and my subs were pretty much just playing on the soccer field, I got donated my first 1,000. And then it started turning into tens of thousands. So again, live streaming is another really, really good way to get donations. But again, do not fake your reaction and don't be a dick about it. Honesty is key and being appreciative and thankful even if it's only for one robux that is key when it comes to these donation games now we're going to talk about what you guys need to look for and what you guys need to do to get these robux such as your guys' stands now as you can see this player right here named cosplayer they just have a goal of 26,500. now yes they've gotten a bunch of donations but i'm going to tell you guys why you don't really want to do this now yes it's a good idea to have a goal but a lot of people like to have reasons now a lot of people are also like me and they like to have stupid game passes so as you guys can see like look we get we, we get a soda pop right here i'm gonna go ahead and purchase this just because of how goddamn stupid this shirt is and i'll probably never wear it but it's just cool to have in my inventory but if you're gonna have stuff like i don't know i don't know if i can find one like where it's just like a regular tip not many people are going to donate to you just because it's average and it's what majority of the players use and it's just it's just not that good now, as you guys can see right here, this guy says, welcome, my name is Chef Andy. I'm here to cook and serve bacon for you or to go. Thank you kindly, goal 7,550. Now, I like what he's doing, but I don't like how he's AFK, and that's what a lot of players don't like. A lot of people will not donate to people that are AFK because they want to get at least some sort of reaction. It doesn't matter if it's a live stream. It doesn't matter if it's a voice chat server. It doesn't matter if it's just a chat through the chat. People want a reaction, and being AFK is not going to be the, well, ideal strat here. Now, yes, you can let your game run overnight. That is totally fine, but you're probably not going to get many donations. Now, as you guys can see, this guy says, I need Ice Spice cutout cost 200. I'm not going to donate to this guy. Why? It's weird. And also, if you see his donations, he goes from 5 to 50 to 1,000 to 10,000, and you just don't want to do that. You want to have more of a selection when it comes to donating. Now we're going to talk about what you guys don't want to do and what to look out for. Now one of the first things that you guys want to look out for is going to be scammers. Now right here, as you guys can see, last donator wins 50,000 Robux. This guy is obviously just lying so he can get some more Robux because, dude, no offense, if you don't even have 3,000 donated, I doubt you even have the 50,000 that you're willing to give away. Now, there's been one person in stream that I can give credit to. I don't remember his name, but sometimes you'll see signs that are like, if you donate to me, I will donate back. To my surprise, I donated him five and he actually donated me 10, but that is so unlikely. I highly recommend that you guys don't do that and don't set that as your stand because not only will people not donate to you, it's just not a nice thing to do. The only reason I did it is because I had the Robux and I was curious to see if he would actually donate to me. So yes, you will have a few of those curious players that are going to see if you're going to donate back, but if you're not going to donate back, you might want to switch servers because that person will probably end up notifying the chat and you won't get anything. Now, one of the main things to look out for, and the number one thing you do not, do not want to do, is this right here. Now, these guys are typically known as the Robux Farmers or the Roblox Burner accounts because they all stand here stiff. If you look at my character, you can see I'm moving my character around. These characters are pure stiff. They're just looking one direction they're not moving, and as you can see, they have a goal, and their signs every single time are all typically in a purplish-pink color. And these are, again, known as the Robux Farmers that just sit here. These people have probably hundreds of people playing games for them. Like, this is a massive operation when it comes to this, and I'm friends with somebody that has an operation like this. But... You guys are not going to want to do this because, again, you're not going to get many donations because majority of the community, when it comes to please donate, know these people as just Robux uh, farmers, and they don't really get many donations because they just sit here lifeless, AFK 24-7, seven days a week.
Now, the last thing I'm going to talk about will be the stands. Now, a lot of people tend to think that stands don't matter when they really do. A nice eye-catching stand can really go a long way, even if you don't expect it. Now, what I mean by this is right here, I have this stand, which is a Roblox Premium stand. For you guys that just want to get a stand that looks pretty eye-catching and just have $5 laying around that you don't need, I'd highly recommend buying Roblox Premium because this is a really, really nice eye-catching stand. And then right next to me, there's this player that goes by the name of Vez. He has a really, really nice eye-catching stand as well. And not only that, but he also has a really good sign here where he says, donate to both stands or me, and then he has a goal. Now this guy is AFK, but me personally, I wouldn't have an issue donating to him, even if he is AFK, because he's willing to be nice and he's offering to have other people donate to other stands, which is just a nice thing to do. A lot of people are just completely money hungry, <laughs> um, but this guy is just really nice with it. Now, yes, these stands are totally fine, but when it comes to people with a lot of Robux, they like a nice eye-catching stand, like this one, for example. I mean, this one isn't the best, but it's also a really, really nice stand, and people may donate to you. Now, this stand, I don't like pest sim, so I'm, I mean, you, you, made, you made a good decision there, Rip Zoro. You made a really good decision. Um, but yeah, this guy also right here, he has a really good eye-catching stand, and these are the ones that I'm mainly going to go to. Like, look at all these stands. These stands are cool, but I see two over here that look better than the other ones, so obviously I'm going to choose these ones and look at these ones first before I would go to all of the other ones. But anyways, guys, I'm going to end this video here. I really hope you guys did enjoy, and if this guy did help you guys out, please let me know by hitting the like button and commenting down below letting me know. But anyways, guys, if you have enjoyed, please subscribe. Also, think about turning up post notifications to never miss a future upload. But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.